we have linebacker Lee Koba. Questions for Lee? So, so Lee, your second year in the program, and your second spring too, so more comfortable with the defense? How, how long did it take you adjust last year? It took me, <clears throat> it took me, I mean, it didn't take me that long last year to really adjust, but just cause, just cause I came, I got the opportunity to come early and got to watch a little bit of film before we actually started like the football aspect of things. But this year I'm definitely more comfortable. Um, I feel like I know more about the defense and I know, you know, if this happens, the, the ball probably gonna go here or, you know, I'm, so. I'm definitely more comfortable on the defense this year. I would imagine um, the Mike linebacker being more comfortable has got to make Jordan Leslie and everybody else more comfortable too, right? Since you're the guy calling the plays. Definitely. Yeah. Um, you, you knew what you knew then, but you know what do you know now? And I know that Leslie's talked too about getting back to basics. What What does that mean? That just means like focusing on our fundamentals and you know like just worrying about us and and what we do, like starting with the little things, whether it's footwork, like alignment, assignment, um, just just doing the little things right. What does it mean to you that Coach Brown talked the other day on, obviously this defense is looking for new leadership, and he mentioned Sean Martin and, and Dante obviously pursuing the NFL now, but your name was also brought up, and it's only your second year with the program. What does that mean to you that you already are getting talked about, the like coach thinks you're a leader of the defense when you're – so young to the program, and do you feel that because there's some yeah definitely experience and how's that been going for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I seen myself as a leader last year, um, and my peers did too. So just just having a year of experience under my belt, and this uh, second year coming up, <clears throat> um, just taking on a bigger leadership role and just trying to lead these guys. You got a lot of young guys you're having to lead behind you, around you. What what do you think of of some of those? I think the young players that came in, I think they're going to be great, great players. You know, they're eager to learn. Uh, I see them in the weight room. They work hard. You know, always up here watching film, trying to get better. So, bright future for them. Defense had good games and they had some not so good games. Um, overall, what was maybe the most disappointing? aspect of it in your view for what from the overall uh, of the season the most disappointing aspect was just the season not going how we planned like I'm, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the season nobody thought we'd be five and seven at the end of it so that was probably the most disappointing thing what do you have to do to, to kind of get over the hump this year you think basically what coach Leslie was talking about just going back to the fundamentals and working on the little things and focusing on ourselves the domino effect to where that will make the defense better this year? Um, you know, if you just, if we just focus on our fundamentals and our technique and it'll help us align faster like when we are playing other teams, um, it'll help you with your assignment if you know like where to align, just everything just fa falls in place like once your fundamentals are good, so. Was the big thing last year, was it, you know, mistakes, mental mistakes, not going to the right place, stuff like that? Um, I feel like that was that was the problem. It, that was a problem at times, um, but um, really, I just things didn't go our way at times, and you know, we just we just we just want to make sure that we're ready this year when the time comes. So, I feel like maybe the teams were maybe it, because you had some inexperienced guys last year maybe dictating to you guys and you having to react to that where maybe this year with more experience you can maybe dictate a little bit more to the offense and make them react to what you guys are doing to them? Is that kind of the plan? I would, um, I would say, yeah. I mean. I think in the Kansas game, for instance, where they did things that, that kind of confuse you a little bit in formations and things like that where you had to react to it and figure out where they were. Um, you've got more experienced guys now. That should hopefully help uh, in some of those situations. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it'll definitely help uh, getting to play against them a year than seeing them again. So I've seen um, some guys already played against Kansas, so that'll definitely help next year when we see them again. Any, any, 
any thoughts? I mean, obviously this is still months and months away, but starting the season in State College against Penn State, just how's that going for you mentally? What are your thoughts about that atmosphere? I mean, really? No, nah, not really. I mean, of course it's in the back of my mind, you know, because it's a big game. Like, well, every game's a big game, but we're just really, like I said, we're trying to focus on fundamentals and just getting better about getting worrying about West Virginia first before we worry about anybody else. So. What about you, Rico? What have you done to, to make yourself a better player this year? To make myself a better player, I've been watching more film, um, working on my flexibility, trying to, you know, move lateral quicker and things like that. Working on my pad level. Just working on my whole game, mm -hmm. honestly.